What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into some much requested Town Hall 11 attacks. We haven't done them in a while, but we are doing them here today. And how many times have you run into a base that looks like this? What is up, my friends? My name is Echo, and welcome back, where today we are in United Warfare, looking at some Town Hall 11 attack strategies, four different ones to be exact, that are going to take down bases like this, as I mentioned a few moments ago. Before we get into any of that action, make sure you subscribe to the channel, make sure you ring the bell for Daily Clash videos, and also remember to use code ECHO in the shop whenever you're purchasing gems, your season pass, or anything like that. I appreciate your support. Now, by bases like this, I mean bases that have that low wall, all right? You're going to run into this a lot in those random spin wars, and there has to be ways to take these down pretty easily. Now, obviously, when you're coming in against wall that's like this, you could just drop in a wall wrecker, as we're about to see, which will one-shot that wall. Check it out. Popping in straight into the wall, going into the base. This is, like, pretty easy textbook funneling nothing on the outside of the base even some wall breakers were there to open some stuff up as well so that the base could be opened wide now with the witches coming in from behind because this is basically a mass witch strategy the witches can overtake the base you'll get some on the right some on the left and some down the center as they go into that town hall compartment look at this eagle artillery is going down but you do have two inferno tower compartments that are little islands so nice job with that freeze spell right there notice the heal spell on the comp but that's not going to help against a single target inferno tower but look at this spam accumulating so many skeletons being protected by that golem they are going to go through and shred what's left in the base now we do have an opening in the base right here into that inferno tower compartment and we're going to see a bunch of these troops just make their way around. I love the heal spell placement so that that queen can get healed up again. The wizard up top is about to go down, but now it's going to be all about this group of troops making their way slowly but surely around the base. Now, the golem is slower than the skeletons, and unfortunately, that's going to make things be, uh, you know, a death of a bunch of skeletons along the way. But the queen and all of those witches will make their way around, and it's going to go pretty nice. Golem leading up through. Queen leading around, and let's take out that bow and Inferno Tower. The one thing that actually worries me right now is the Wizard Tower, because that Wizard Tower could actually take down all of the skeletons. But the Queen is there. She's going to be able to shut that down as well as that bow with about 10 witches as well. Totally spamming, overwhelming this base. There is no way the Inferno Tower could shut down all of this before this one is over, which means Ardon is going to pull in a triple United Warfare against this low wall base at Town Hall 11. Really nice looking attack, but we have more. I promised you more, we have more. And before we get into more, I'll remind you to come through my Discord server, which is linked down below, if you want to come hang out and talk Clash of Clans. All right, so the wall improves a little bit, and we have Thoki coming in with a P.E.K.K.A. Smash, a really solid strategy for Town Hall 11, getting those healers in action, getting those P.E.K.K.A.s going, and the bowler supporting. Now, we're coming in from the top of the base with that queen. Remember, you're going to get the healers on top of the queen, which is then going to converge and merge and put together with that P.E.K.K.A. and those bowlers as they dive deep into the base. Now, when the wall is lower level, like we're seeing here today, it's easier to break inside, less pounding, and more quick penetration into the base, which is going to be less time needed, right? So it's going to actually be beneficial. Now, the Queen's ability is being popped right there. Notice that there was no Rage spell used on that those healers. I would have loved to have seen a Rage on those healers so that this could just last a little bit longer. We have another Wall Wrecker coming into this base. Pekka's along the outside to establish that funnel. Queen's going to make her way into the base, or actually, she may just continue running herself around. But the bowlers in that Pekka, or those Pekkas, are going to make their way into the base. The Queen's going to walk around the right. Pekkas and bowlers around the left. And this pretty decent kill squad going right into the guts of the base. An Electro Dragon, which all of you guys fear so much coming out of that clan castle. Freeze, poison, let's shut it down. Now, remember... The queen is not in the core of the base right now to shut down that electro dragon, so it's not ideal. I would love to see the queen in there, but it got taken down anyway. It looks like uh, something was able to target it, and it was those wizards as they went into the core of the base 
with the rest of the kill squad but right now we're down into the bottom portion the southern part of the base which is pretty hefty you have an inferno tower a bunch of tesla some wizard towers but man this is still going strong because that wall wrecker went all the way through the base because it's easy to pop through wall at such a low level didn't have time to get shut down a balloon to spare just clean up left as we have a pekka making its way over to the laboratory over in the western no that's the uh, north south east west that is the western side of the base to pull in the triple using pekka smash against the low wall level town hall 11 and jar is bringing the hog riders for us we have a pekka hog attack here which is a really popular one that we see happening at town hall 10 and what are we looking at here my goodness we're looking at someone that is basically a new town hall 11 so we have a 10 v 10 essentially coming in on this one wall wrecker rocking the way and remember we have the hogs you're going to get the kill squad going into the base and then the hogs to clean up everything along the outside of the base so a little bit of diversity on the attacks right here notice there is a grand warden pedestal level 12 but there is no eagle artillery which is something that's really nice that you don't have to worry about because the defender is not yet upgraded at their town hall 11 although i have to say the wall is better on this base than the previous two that we just saw. You know, you never know what you're going to run into inside of Clash of Clans, in War, in CWL, wherever you're going. You don't ever know what you're really going to find. So we have the Queen running around the outside of the base over in the west. And over here in the east, a bunch of Pekkas and Bowlers shutting down the eastern side of the base. Going to be taking down the Town Hall, leaving only 50% of the base to be cleared up by these Hogs. Now notice there is a King in the core of the base as the bowlers take down the town hall with those pekkas but the hogs are going to run, run around they have 22 hog riders i believe it was in the attack strategy and enough heal spells to support them around the base now i'd love to see a heal there we go right by that wizard tower because you have two splash damage wizard towers shooting on those hogs and you know they, they could do quite a bit of damage you get a few giant bombs or small bombs in there and those wizard towers there's a giant bomb right there and the hogs can be shut down but not this time the pigs get the job done now it's time to clean up everything else left in the base because well there are no more defenses so peck is bowlers archers hog riders going to shut this one down jar out of united warfare you know it wasn't a town hall 13 base it had the warden it didn't have the eagle artillery but it was still really nicely done and it was done by a town hall 10 attacker so worth noting here the attacker was actually a weaker attack than we had on the defense that's very important stuff so always keep that in mind lucky that the hogs are here because they can quickly hop over the walls shut down the storages and shut down the rest of the base for the 100 percent you know attacks like this you, you throw the clan on the back of someone like jar and you start pulling in wins in your wars you start being looked up to in clash of clans as a really amazing attacker there's your example we have one more for you so let's go take a look Actually, we've got a live hit right now, which I want to jump in and take a look at to see if they can be able to clean this thing up. And oh my goodness, it is done just in time. You know what we need to do? We need to go check this out. Let's go watch this one in full. Well, it looks like we're here with an attacker that we've seen earlier in the video coming in 8v8, coming in with that P.E.K.K.A. smash yet again really strong another town hall 11 base with that low level wall at least there's some lava wall this time around i wish i wish i would have caught this one actually live with you guys we caught the very tail end of it but i figure you know let's flip the script let's actually do something here that is going to uh you know be different than what i had planned for the video so i'm all about that Queen's walking herself around the base. Notice that no wall breakers are being used to get her inside. There is that wall wrecker and the baby dragon doing a fine job funneling down that queen so that she goes up towards the top of the base rather than running herself down. That baby dragon getting some massive value as the queen is tanking that bow. Notice one air mine did just slam into that queen. Baby dragon's getting pushed to safety by the sweeper. And man, some serious value out of that baby dragon. So we have the king and the P.E.K.K.A. up top. They're going to be starting that funnel. Then the wall wreckers come into town. Queen is still fighting against that Inferno Tower and her healers are taking the brunt of it right now. Luckily, the healers just got out of harm's way. Without healers, this attack can die on you. You need those healers to continuously heal up this entire group, this kill squad of troops. Because really, P.E.K.K.A. Smash is a queen walk into 
a complete kill squad inside of the base where they just literally shred everything from the inside out. And that's what's going on right now. Lots of air traps are going in after those healers, but the queen was there to clean them all up. Love that. And the queen's going to even pop things over in the eastern side and then run back into the center with the rest of the kill squad as it takes down the town hall. Healers are there to heal up the bowlers, the giant, and those pekkas. Let's go. Pushing on through the rest of this base. This is looking really solid. And like we said, they go right through the core and then take it all down from the inside out with these kill squad strategies. We've seen it done time and time again. And I mean, Pekka Smash is a reason it's still being used in the meta right now. That reason is it's a really solid, strong strategy. These bowlers need to shut down that archer tower so that our little archers can stay alive. Look at this. The healers, though, being struck by mines, being struck by traps, really stuck it out until the end of the attack, which is impressive. Usually you don't see the healers towards the end of the attack because as they go through the center of the base, through the core, they usually are going to take a bunch of damage, get taken down by air defenses, by archer towers, or whatever else is air targeting in the core of the base. But not this time. This time the attack will come to an end with a 100%. That's a six-pack in war for Thoki. I think that's how you said the name. Either way, out of United Warfare, rocking it at Town Hall 11. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and come back tomorrow for more because I will be here. I'm also live streaming on Twitch a few days a week. I'll be linking that as well as my Discord server in the pin comment below. Hopefully I see you guys there. Make sure you check out some of my other stuff before you go and be good.